So here's a game plan. Follow a trail deep into the woods to a secret spot where there should be tarpon and snook. Pretend that's a tarpon. A company was nice enough to send me a pair of boots to test out for a hike, so that's cool. Here's our game plan. Doesn't get any simpler than this. Ever since my wife and I had our child, I've been really struggling to have the energy to exercise. So. I figured why not double down, hike some miles while chasing after some fish in an extremely unique environment. Oh, I'm stoked. Mile and a half in, and these boots are brand new. I've never worn them before. And typically, I find that new boots hurt your feet a lot when you're trying to break them in and only about a mile and a half down, but it feels good. We got another half mile to to the spot and then we're fishing and hopefully catching some big snook. Let's do this. Oh, big snook, big snook. Oh, damn. Big snook in this ravine, and he got right up on my swim bait, but didn't hit. I was seeing big snook and rolling tarpon, but something just seemed off. The water looked too good to be true, and it was. I did have some amazing visitors, though, that definitely didn't help the fishing situation. So, after seeing the otters, I decided it was time to hike out and head to the next spot. It is so unbelievably freaking hot outside. Right now, we've walked close to seven miles, I believe. Feels like it's 97 degrees outside. This is the first time I've been able to take the camera out because I'm in a spot of shade. The rest has just been straight sun. And the second you stop walking, it's just mega mosquito central. Oh, right there, slammed by a tarpon. We'll put it back in. We'll put it back in. Hook rolled into the bait. Hopefully he's still looking for it because I did not get a hook into him. Well, there is tarpon here, and I'm seeing them roll every once in a while, but I am out of time. I've got a mile and a half to walk back rounding us for a three mile on this second leg, giving us a total of 11 miles walk today. It's been a long day on the hoof. We're gonna head home and get some rest. Pick it up tomorrow. Beautiful out here again. Walking the berm looking for rolling tarpon. The sun's coming up. The grass is full of dew. Just my favorite time of day, man. It's so beautiful. In the air, gone. <laughs> All right, let's go try to find another one. <sighs> 
it is hot out today. It is 8.15 in the morning and it says that it feels like 96 degrees outside. Fun stuff here in South Florida. If you notice today I'm wearing a different pair of boots than I normally wear when I'm out doing my land missions here. This is actually sent to me by a company called Nordiv8 which were kind enough to sponsor today's video. And I wanted to put some miles in on the boots before I talked about them and recommended them. So over the past three days now I'm working on 16 miles and by the end of today I should be around 20 plus in over three days and they've held up beautifully. They're extremely comfortable, they've been very durable, they have an awesome zipper on the side that makes getting the boots on and off extremely easy. Uh, if you hike a lot or you wear work boots or anything like that, you know how big of a pain it is to get boots on and off. With a zipper, it makes it really easy. They lace up super tight. The soles inside are extremely comfortable. They make steel-toed boots for anybody who's a working man and you're required to wear steel-toed boots. These aren't that, but they've been great. They've got a good flex in them, man. I really wanted to put them to the test before I recommended them to you guys or said anything about them and they have fared very well so far and the people at Nordivate are kind enough to offer you guys a 15% discount code that'll be linked down below if you want to pick up a pair of boots. They are extremely affordable. I mean extremely affordable so I recommend them man. I've been really happy with their performance and I uh, can't say enough good things about them. So make sure you go check out that link below and pick up some boots if you need some boots. It's really cool when uh, companies want to reach out and support and uh, thankful for them and thankful for you guys. So we are going to lace this sucker back on and uh, continue our mission for tarpon and snook in the back country and maybe some largemouth bass. At this point, things began to feel pretty futile. The wind began to pick up as a tropical depression closed in on Florida and the tarpon disappeared. A long walk home though put us up to about 17 miles for the past 36 hours. The storm was mild, but definitely put everything on edge. But with the storm came rain, and rain brought new life in more ways than just one. I have the tendency to intentionally make my life more difficult than it needs to be. I enjoy going against the grain even when I know it'll probably be less fruitful. I have literally hundreds of fishing spots better than where I'm trying to catch fish right now, but there's something about this place that keeps bringing me back to it. Maybe because it's close to home or reminds me of being a kid, but I can't escape it. but I don't think I want to. Bunch of tarpon. Oh, tarpon just tried to eat it right there again. There it is. There's the tarpon. Oh yes, dude. This is like fly fishing a stream, but for instead of trout, it's tarpon. He's right here. Oh, he just jumped off. Gosh, how many tarpon am I going to jump? This didn't stick. Oh, that was so cool. All right, I got to retie this really quick. It's like a 10 pound tarpon probably. Oh my gosh, I took the tarpon from all the way up here. This is a curious situation. <laughs> uh, my brain is calculating what I need to do here. I just really, that was my first cast this direction. 
I've been sitting down there fishing for like 20 minutes and had a few tarpon eat but never hooked up. And then I came up here just to look, took a single cast down the pipe, and now I have a tarpon underneath me in the waterfall. And he's pinned well. This is the one that we needed to <laughs> jump off, and this is, of course, the one that sticks super well. Uh, okay, we gotta run down over there, across down, and up, up. Yeah, we got it. Time to get moving. Okay. Let's traverse down the rocks while we have tarpon on the line here. Ooh, that one slippery rock. All right. Holy! <laughs> he jumped while I was sliding down a rock and totally pulled my feet out from under me. Oh. worked our way into a peculiar position here. Striving for great balance while having a very strong fish try to pull me off balance. Luckily he's not like a 40 pounder. Good God, that would be impossible. Hello, I'm down here. Okay. This is epic, so cool. We've been working our tail off to keep one of these pinned and I mean, it's as long as we've had one pinned. If he came off, it'd be all right. He's fighting so hard because there's just so much oxygen running through this. Like he's just basically getting revived the whole time we're fighting, you know? There he is, our beautiful, Backwater Silver King, only about a five, six pounder. If that's not the coolest thing ever, I feel like we're fishing for trout or salmon in a stream, but instead it's the greatest game fish in the world right there, dude. So, what's the point of all this? Well, I definitely got the exercise I was looking for. At the end of these few days, I ended up walking just around 25 miles and broke my boots in quite nicely. The fishing was extremely tough, but to be honest, that's why I chose to fish where I did. I wanted to challenge myself, and that was definitely accomplished. If you take anything away from this, it's don't take yourself too serious. Just go have some fun out in the wild.